Hello everyone, my name is Himanshu Sharma. In this video, we will discuss upon setting up gRPC in a Spring Boot application. I'm currently on Spring Initializer website. Let's go ahead and get our initial project template. Gradle project, Java, Spring Boot version 264. Change the group name, artifact, packaging jar, Java version 17. And for dependencies, let's select web. That's all we need. Let's see how our build.gradle will look like. It will have three plugins IDs, a group version source compatibility 17 repositories as maven central two dependencies one for development another for testing and a task you can download the project and import in your favorite id i have imported it in intellij let's head to the id this is the build.gradle file and if you can see over here we have those three plugin entries the group version source compatibility the repositories, the two dependencies, and the task. So first thing we do is we will update our build.gradle to support gRPC. And for that, first we introduce a protobuf plugin. This one. We will define two variables. A gRPC version and a protobuf version. In the dependencies section, we will remove the one which was provided by the initializer. And instead of that, we will use io.github lognet grpc spring boot starter. You can refer the GitHub repository for this starter to get more details. So, so far, we have introduced the plugin protobuf. We have defined the two variables for grpc and protobuf version, and we also included our Spring Boot starter for gRPC. Let's save it. Rebuild the Gradle. Now, first thing we do is we will introduce a hello world.proto file inside our proto folder under main directory. So this is how our hello world.proto look, look like. A greeting service, which have a method say hello. It consumes request message and it returns response message. A request message with a string variable name and a response message with a string variable message. We are giving the package as hello world. And then we mark it as Java multiple files true so that every entity will have its own Java file. So, so far our expectation should be whenever we perform a build we should get the generated Java code for our hello world.proto. Let's try that out. Gradle. Perform the clean task. It's done. Now perform the build task. Here we are getting an error. No such file or directory. Execution field for task generate proto. Let's head back to our build.gradle file and it seems we have introduced the plugin but we haven't configured it yet and for that I will uncomment these entries and rebuild our gradle. Now let's try one more time. Build. This time it's successful. So we should expect that our corresponding Java files should be somewhere inside build. And that location actually is inside build, generated, source, Java. And as you can see over here, we mentioned hello world project, uh, sorry, hello world package. And inside this, we are getting all the files, hello world.java, request message, response message, and then we have a grpc where greeting service grpc 
pointing to the service so so far so good we have the proto file we have the generated java files for the server side code let's head to the greeting service it's a simple class and i have currently commented all the required code so it's just a dummy class and now let's remove the unnecessary code and now uncomment the code over here so this is your service and if you can see over here this is the annotation we are getting from the spring boot starter so this is our service and if you can see over here this is the annotation we are getting from grpc spring boot starter now if you see over here even though we have our generated code we still getting compile time error like hello world dot greeting service and it's saying that cannot resolve symbol hmm, but we are sure that we have that in our generated code to resolve this issue let's uncomment the last part of our build.gradle file these lines will help ids to understand that they can check for other areas during compilation let's load the gradle changes once done you can see over here all the errors are resolved let's visit our greeting service here we have a method say hello we are overriding it getting a request a stream observer response observer and then we are building a response message and then sending it back to the client if you can see say hello is actually overriding this method that's all in the server side now let's run our application so since it's a spring boot application we can go to our grpc server application and run it if you can see over here it started on port 6565 so we are good with that now let's go to the greeting client it's currently a dummy java class but let's uncomment the code it's a simple class uh, this is the main method here we are creating a channel which we will use to interact with our service we have defined the port 6565 localhost and then here you are building the request message and then sending it using that channel for the response so that's all at the client side no new annotations nothing a simple main method to test it out and once it get the response it should display the message in the console let's run our client so our client got executed and we can see over here we get the response hello himanshu from server so if you can see over here in the client we send the name as himanshu and then in the service we use that name while forming this message hello himanshu from server let's revisit the project structure one more time to begin with let's start with the build.gradle file we introduced one plugin id we defined two variables one for grpc version another for protobuf version We change the Spring Boot starter with our own starter, IO GitHub Lognet, GRPC Spring Boot starter. Then we configure our protobuf plugin. And we also help IDE to understand that the generated code can be found in the following directories. Once build.gradle is done, we created a hello world.proto file inside the proto directory under main directory this is how our hello world.proto look like 
a greeting service which receives a request message and respond with a response message. Once your hello world proto and build.gradle file are configured, you can go to Gradle, perform a clean and then build and should expect the corresponding Java files should be there in the generated folder inside build directory. Over here. Moving on to the server side, the greeting service. Here we created a class annotated with gRPC service. This annotation we got from our Spring Boot starter. And then override the say hello method as per our requirement. Once that done, we can start the server. For the client side, we have created a greeting client.java file, which will use the manage channel object to interact with the greeting service and send a request with a name and then get the response and display the message in the console. That's all in this video. Thank you everyone. Thanks for watching. If you have any suggestions or feedback, please let me know in the comment section.